Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm gonna give all in glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah by Hashem, Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Ooh, we have been a great example to his young brothers in the truth and peace and blessings to the hopeful licks. I like it like that. Yeah. Demons. But um, this going into that earthquake, those earthquakes, because it wasn't one earthquake, it was a, a series of earthquakes that hit Turkey and Syria. And it was a uh, basically an 8, 8, and then a 7.5, and a 6.0. And 20 more earthquakes hit Turkey and Syria in what 120 more earthquakes hit Turkey and Syria in one day. So I want to go into this because, hey, the Lord is terrible. You know, the Lord is terrible and very great. And marvelous is his power. But if I ain't sad, I want to get all in glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah Bashem, Rakakodash. And double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Rule with them and great enough to his younger brothers in the truth. And peace and blessing to the hopeful lit. I want to make sure I say it there. So like it. Powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked southern Turkey and neighboring Syria earlier. At least 43 aftershocks have occurred with a magnitude of 4.3 or more. Three of the aftershocks for 4.3 or more, and those serious earthquakes, man. The quake struck 23 kilometers east of Nadaihi in Gaziantep province. The quake was at a depth of 24.1 kilometers. A strong shock. If you're looking for a vehicle, any vehicle, you've got to shop Eastern Shore Hyundai. With of magnitude 7.5 flight after a devastating earthquake. Look at all these buildings down. So imagine the amount of people up underneath they rubble dead. And if I ain't mistaken, that um I seen earlier that over, it was like the death toll reached up to the three thousands now, man. Almost 4,000 with 3,700. It may be up more now, though. You know? And the Lord is terrible, man. And hey, every morning, do his judgment comes to light. Because these earthquakes start happening. The ones they, they got on camera is the next morning. But the, the big one, 7.8, I think it hit overnight. And then after that, that following morning, the 7.5 hit. And also a 6.0, and they they getting hit by uh, earthquakes. <laughs> this aftershock was extremely shallow, only 10 kilometers deep, which was in the shaking felt. <laughs> Entire city blocks were flattened by the quake. Metal rods were strewn across the streets and vehicles topple over. 
Allah olsa yardım eyle. Bize Rabbim bizlere yardım eyle ya Rabbi. More than a thousand high-rise buildings were destroyed. At least 120 aftershocks have occurred following powerful earthquake in southern Turkey. Allah'ım ne olur yardım et Allah'ım. Three of the aftershocks measured 6.0 or greater that struck 95 kilometers north of the epicenter of the morning's main quake. Allahu Akbar. Depremin tam merkezi karşı devler yıkık vaziyette. The aftershock stretched for more than 300 kilometers along the fault zone. Acayip bir şekilde sarsılmasıyla deprem olduğunu anladık. Geri döndük tekrardan yıkılan. Allah olsa yardım eyle. Bize Rabbim bizlere yardım eyle ya Rabbi. The port of Iskenderun in southern Turkey was damaged. Allah olsa bizlere yardım eyle. Allah olsa bize yardım eyle. Allah olsa yardım eyle ya Rabbi. Some parts of the port's door collapsed. Allah'ım sen yardım et Allah'ım. Yedistan'ın yarısı gitmiş. Elsewhere, cracks formed on the runways of some airports in the earthquake zone. Her yer yıkıldı Elbistan'da. Her yer. Many countries have already begun to provide humanitarian assistance. Antakya burası şu an. Yıkım, yıkım her yere bulunmuş. Ayakta bina yok. Rescues are still working to free people trapped under the rubble. More than a thousand high-rise buildings were destroyed. Allahum sen yardım eyle. Allahum sen yardım eyle. Allahum sen yardım eyle ya Rabbi. Sen yardım eyle ya Rabbi. Rabbi sen yardım eyle. Allahum sen yardım eyle. Metal rods were strewn across the streets and vehicles toppled over. Entire city blocks were flattened by the quake. Sen yardım et. Allah'ım sen yardım et. Allah'ım sen yardım et. Powerful 7.8 magnitude earthquake rocked southern Turkey and neighboring Syria earlier. The quake was at a depth of 24.1 kilometers. A strong shock of magnitude 7.5 flight after a devastating earthquake.
This aftershock was extremely shallow, only 10 km deep. I ain't got no signal, it might not come up. I may make another video, I don't know. Let's get the precepts. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise and with storm and with tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Just going into it, ain't no such thing as is is natural or a natural disaster. No, that be the Lord judging. <laughs> you get caught up in a natural disaster. People get caught up in a natural disaster, and their lives are taken. That's the Lord judging an individual, individuals judging people, man. And that's how the Lord say He's gonna visit the earth through or uh, uh, natural disasters and storms, tempests, flame, and fire, and fire. Different things of that nature. Even if Esau has his hands hands in on it, it's still the Lord using him to do these things, man. And this prophecy being fulfilled. And this nigga ain't doing what he want to do. The angels here to, you know, <laughs> to to do the will of the Lord, man. You know, the chariots they here, the angels are here, guiding different things. Even if Esau got harp and all that shit, he ain't just doing what he want to do, man. It ain't going the way he wants to go. Is going the way the Lord wanted to go. This second Ezra chapter two and verse nine it say, He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou well understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. And that's what you're seeing, the Lord is beginning to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and what we're seeing, earthquakes and also uproars are going on, different protests in different places. And you see what the Lord is doing to them people over there. Imagine what the Lord is going to do to these wicked ass. Uh, you, uh, the American is the most proudest and most wickedest person on the planet. So imagine what the Lord is going to do here, man, when he gets to unleashing for real, for real. Because it's going to be a point where the Lord ain't going to hold back no more. The Lord ain't going to call the, the death angels off, man. You know? It's going gonna, it's gonna to get to a point soon. This place this place is in, in, in dire need of destruction. Babylon the Great is in dire need of destruction, man. Which is America. You know? It's in dire need of the people. <laughs> These people through, man. And they blinded by the gods of this world. They full, they 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 drunk off the wine of Babylon. They say, then shalt thou well understand that it that the most high spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and the ending and the end is manifest. Even so the signs also of the highest have plain beginnings. And wonderful and powerful works ending in effects and signs. And everyone that shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby he ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in, in my land and with, within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. So we praying, we do this work and believe in Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shine, Truth and Sincerity, praying and hoping that we are preserved 
from the said perils that are about to come, that are coming, that are hitting the earth, man. We praying that we are exempt from these judgments. This the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming, and of the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Hamashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye, and ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. And right now, today, at this moment, this is what we seeing in the earth, man. We seeing wars and rumors of war. We seeing people rising up. <laughs> you know, these self-proclaimed prophets, you know, rising up above the apostles, rising up above the men who taught them. You know, and trying to discredit them. We see these things happening. They say, and you, sh and you shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nations shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And that's what they say. That was the worst earthquake. Uh, they hit Turkey since 1930 something or something they saying, you know. They say all these are the beginning of sorrow. Yeah, these are we are in the beginning of sorrows, but it's gonna get way worse, man. <laughs> the end of sorrows is them nukes, man. Hey, they're gonna be it, you know. Hey, the beginning is gonna get real now. It's gonna get. It's going to get heavy in the earth. In 2020, 2023, could very well be the year that the hope for y'all these prophecies come to pass. You know, say they don't, you know, fully implement the MOTB all the way, however it's going to go, because we don't know exactly how it's going to go, but we know it's coming. The MOTB going to get implemented. Say it's going to be this year, we don't know, but we hope, like hell, this year all hell is breaking loose. You know that that um that so Esau can come with his order app KO, you know, and if all hell break loose, Esau still can be pushing that chip, like hey take this and you can be safe, right here, you know, or uh, he can make it man ma he can mandate it then all hell you know make make it mandate, and then all hell can start breaking loose man. We don't know exactly how it's gonna go, but we know it's gonna go. That MOTB is gonna be pushed. On on the on the world before uh, a World War Three fully commence as far as thermonuclear destruction is um concerned, you ain't got to worry about thermonuclear destruction until Esau push the M O T to the B, the C H I to the P. That's what the M O T B is, the C H I to the P. What they gonna try to put in your hand so you can buy, sell, and trade. And they can have your medical records and different things of that nature, and in your forehead, your metal man. You know, going into, you know, Elon, you know, the brain, the brain CHIP, you know, you can learn languages. If you can walk, you can walk. If you couldn't see, you can insert this in you. You'll be able to see again, you know. Like, let's get this last one. I'm close that. But I probably do a, a second um, video to this. Oh, um. Uh, after when I get to the, to the house and stuff, but I just close it out right here because I want to play Dabu seven seven videos because he did two videos. I like to kind of sometimes go into his video because he said something in one of his videos I want to go into. But this second um uh, second Corinthians chapter five and verse eleven, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. But we are we are made manifest unto Yahweh, and I trust also are made manifest, and I and I trust also are made manifest in your made manifest in your conscience, you know. So at the end of the day, we gon' 
we we persuade people through the terror of the Lord. Look what the Lord doing. We ain't giving the credit to no fucking natural disaster. We when we see these things happening on earth, we don't get scared. We don't get you know, we get a you know, shook up a little bit, but we don't get scared to the point like we just terrified and don't know what to do. No, cause we trust in your how about show me how we shy. And we know the terror of our Lord. And we don't get a credit to no fucking a natural, uh, uh, mother nature, man, a natural disaster, no, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, smoke Turkey and Syria with earthquakes to where the buildings just crashing down, man, you know, with people in them, men, women, and children, elderly, you know, <laughs> babies, all that, and uh, getting smushed by concrete, man, you know, or whatever the building made out of and guess what? The Lord sent back and ain't shed a tear or nothing. He bring a judgment. Because if you're a part of the elite, or if you're a part of the Lord's, uh, if if it ain't a lot for you to be destroyed, guess what? It's going to pass over you. You, The Lord will have it to where when those buildings collapse, you wasn't in there. Uh, when those buildings collapse, you, you survive somehow, you know? So at the end of the day, the message is repent because the Lord getting ready to return and destroy this bitch, man. And the Lord getting ready to come back and destroy the 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 kingdom of the heathens. Uh, Esau, his his empire, the NATO and the EU. You know this this um current the current rule of the earth, Esau, he the Lord getting ready to take this man down. And all you heathens, y'all through, man. You know, but for our people, hey, it's a high time to wake up out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than we believe. But we know two thirds of our people are not gonna come up out of it, come up out of her, man. You know, but to the elect, hey, repent because the day of the Lord is near. You know, and we hasten greatly for it, man, because hey, the the sooner the better for us. The sooner the better for those who believe, because guess what? What's after this destruction? All this hell that's going to come upon the earth and upon us that we pray we protect her from. What's coming after this? The kingdom of heaven, man. So, Lord willing, this will edify, and I want to end giving all honor and glory to Yahweh by her son, Yahweh Shab, by her son, Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, great millstone, rule women, great example to his young brother in the truth. Peace and blessings to the hopefully lit. Shalom. Come ya shalom. Baba. Shalom.